I'm Bill Clay. I'm uh, currently principal bass of the Fort Worth Symphony, where I've had that position for the last 20 years. And I'm also a graduate of MSU Denver when I graduated in 1983 with a Bachelor of Arts in Music Performance or Bass Performance. I grew up in the Denver area. Took up music, uh, I was 15 when I took up the electric bass and I was playing, you know, I was going to be a rock star. And, and, you know. So it wasn't until my senior year, uh, I played some in the high school jazz band, but my senior year I, I joined the, the string orchestra within the, within the high school and started to take an interest in classical music. After graduating from, uh, from MSU, I um, got a master's at Indiana University and from there, three years in the New World Symphony when that first started. From there, I played in an orchestra in Spain for four years uh, before ending up in Fort Worth, the Fort Worth Symphony where I got the position in 1995. I uh, started my education at MSU Denver as a civil engineering major um, because I started bass rather late. Uh, what I discovered there though is I, I had an uh, excellent uh, bass teacher um, who, who kind of guided me through and, and said, you know, it wouldn't be a bad place to stay as a, as a music major. When I, when I decided to change my major to music, I, I, I considered other schools within the state thinking that they were you know, maybe more accomplished. And fort fortunately, my teacher uh, persuaded me to stay where I was with, with the idea that basically I could get the same uh, quality of education, of course, for, for much less uh, uh, financial resources than I would need otherwise. Because I uh, was able to apply myself and, um, uh, you know, and, and had, the, had the right guidance, uh, I was able to uh, succeed there to the extent that when I did go to graduate school, I, I passed out of all the entry exams. So that kind of per persuaded me that, you know, maybe I, that I'd made the right decision. One important thing I learned while at uh, MSU was that there was no substitute for hard work. There are no shortcuts to getting to where you, you need to go, especially in something like music. Where you go to school is not nearly as important as how dedicated you are yourself and, and how important it is that you have, uh, particularly in music, a, a private teacher that is really going to guide you well and, and somebody you can trust in that, in that endeavor. I think the reason someone might choose MSU as a music school today is, is that it's, it's right in the heart of, of the cultural center of Denver. You have access to you know, everything like from the Colorado Symphony to the, the art museums or the theater center. Something I didn't have when I was there, it's got a great new facility um, and, and great concert venues to play in. The campus is, is much more attractive, but it's still incredibly cheap or economical. And, and that was a big deal to me um, because I, I know a lot of my colleagues when we graduated from school, they went to more expensive schools, they had all kinds of student loans and, and things to that effect, and that's, that can really be crippling. Um, I did not, even, even coming out of grad school, so it's um, a very big plus as far as that goes. I think it, it would be hard to go wrong or hard to find a better value for the, the amount of tuition you're paying, certainly within the state, if not within the country. Mm -hmm.